this room? Um, I think we had good uh, senior leadership. I think a lot of the leaders in the room stepped up and said uh, we didn't want to have another letdown like we had the year before. Um, because that's, that's typical off of an of emotional game. So that's something we'll look forward to, to not have this week. And it starts today in practice to, to not have any kind of letdown of the intensity and preparation. So uh, that's something that we'll be fighting this week and something that uh, especially the leaders need to step up and take charge of. What was the mood like on the flight home? Um, I mean, it was. I think there was a, a little bit of disappointment just because you know we thought we thought it was a you know a game that we could win, and uh, unfortunately we didn't come out with the wins. So, uh, got a lot of guys tired. I think we gave it our all, and uh, you know it was pretty pretty much like any time you lose on the flight back. Danny Coach always said that, that Miles isn't going to replace you unless you're playing for him or he beats you up to take the job. Does that help you know, just let you go out there and play your game and not worry about you know footsteps or win my hand in my uh, It just sounds like a normal thing to me. So. Yeah. I mean, you've heard the talk, obviously, with that response. You kind of have a, an opinion on it. But what are your thoughts on your play? Have you looked at the yeah, improvement? Really like and you know, what would you like to improve upon with the last three games? Um, you know, just taking uh, advantage of opportunities when they're there and uh, continuing to make the right reads and, and trying to put the ball in the, in the right spot and continuing to keep getting better. How far is the gap, you know, from where you want to be versus where you are? I'm not sure. Uh, I mostly kind of just keep improving each week, I think. I think I've, I've done a pretty good job. I don't think I've ever taken a step back uh, in, in any sense of the word uh, uh, week to week. So. I uh, just continue to keep working, and uh, I don't know where I'll be at you know, when I'm finished uh, playing football, so hopefully it'll, it'll be even a lot better than what I am now. You've said in the past that uh, you know, you're so grateful to be here and every game is a huge opportunity. I mean, in your mind, you want to play in the best bowl game possible and win as many games as you can, right? I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, we can still have a, a very good season. I think, you know, if we went out, that's a... It's a pretty good bowl game, and it's a pretty good opportunity for us to keep enjoying each other's company and, and keep playing for something that uh, you know we can kind of work towards together. So I think there's still a lot to play for and still a lot to, to finish off with the season. So uh, I think that that shouldn't be an issue for us. Do you and the receivers in the middle of games get together you know, when the defense is on the field and, and talk about you know, the play? That, or where do we miss each other? Yeah. Uh, we had talked and, uh, uh, you know, we tried to put it out there a little more the, set, the next time on, on down the sideline and he didn't quite get it. So, uh, I mean, that's just something that, that can happen an inch or two there. But, again, it's just something you, you got to work on. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 tough to, it's tough to get everything exactly timed out, so we just got to make the plays when they're there. It's football. Yeah, it's just football. I mean, there's guys rushing you, and, and there's guys guarding you pretty tight, so sometimes you just got to go up and make a play and go out and make a throw. You talked about that. Your offensive line probably played the best game against one of the best opponents. Mm -hmm. What did you see in them and their efforts? Yeah, I thought the coaches did a great job of putting together a good protection scheme and a great game plan for us, and then I thought that uh, our guys up front did a great job of executing not just the O-line, but the tight ends and the running backs uh, did a great job of picking up their keys. And uh, The receivers did a good job of getting open and, and giving uh, uh, giving me a chance to get the ball out on one hitch and you know, just throwing it on time. How about the Wildcats? It was pretty cool, yeah, it was good. I think that Daryl does a lot of that in Madden, so I think that's really preparing him for that. How did it feel for you to spread out wide like that? Uh, real comfortable. I looked comfortable out there in the receiver position, I thought. How much better do you feel you sold that than maybe Jay Cutler a couple weeks ago? Um, I didn't see that. What happened with the Jay Cutler? He just stood yeah, there. Stood there. Like, oh, yeah. See, I was sprinting down. I was going to get a block if just in case. I just don't want to get jammed like Mark Sanchez. So I, I preferred to be off the ball, off the line of scrimmage on that one. Coach, I said that was a play you guys put in in the open week and the build up to Alabama. What was it maybe about that that allowed you to kind of expose them a little bit? I don't game? think it was something that hopefully they didn't prepare for. I mean, we hadn't shown that yet. It doesn't mean that they didn't prepare for it. They might have. Or, you know, you never know what another team quite has. But it was something that we hadn't shown yet and we thought we could, we could break out for them. Uh, and just kind of install and, and just add a little wrinkle for them to have to adjust in the game. Do you What's see that as a legitimate kind of addition to the offense now, or is that kind of just a one-off gimmick? I don't know. I mean, you never know what, what which we like. So we'll see kind of how it works and what we like out of it. And 
what we can add, and other teams will have to prepare for it. And it'll be something that we can uh, add another wrinkle to this offense. So, what did you think after, after looking at the tape? I know you were very disappointed on Saturday night. After looking at the tape, what did you see? Um, you know, film is film is funny. It's it's never as bad or as good as you think it ever is. So there's a lot to work on. Um, a lot of things we can improve on as a unit. It's never just one person or, or one group. It's it's always a team thing. So. Uh, it's something that we'll all work together toward uh, getting better uh, by looking at ourselves again. Uh, what could I do better? What could I change? And if we all do that, then we'll take the next step. Thanks, Dan.